In 1897, J.J. Thompson observed particles travelling between oppositely charged hot metal plates. The experiment involved two charged plates with a potential difference between them. A small particle released from one plate would move between the plates due to the electrostatic force to the other. The particle could be detected by measuring the change of charge on the plates. So what can we figure out about this particle? These particles were negatively charged and were much smaller than atoms. So remember at this point in time, an atom was seen to be the smallest possible piece of matter. So obviously discovering a particle smaller than an atom was very significant, as it proved that atoms weren't the smallest possible pieces of matter. It was known that electrons had negative charge as they were repelled from negative and attracted to positive plates. J.J. Thompson had discovered electrons. So how exactly was the model of the atom changed to fit electrons? Well, in 1904, Thompson presented a new model for the atom that could explain the existence of electrons. When making this model, he didn't know about protons or neutrons. But this became known as the plum pudding model. So it covered all of the known facts about the atom at the time. So basically, that it was matter which contained electrons. It was called the plum pudding model simply because it reminded scientists of plum pudding, a common dessert at the time. So how exactly are the electrons arranged? In this model, the atom consists of a ball of positive charge. So it was known that there was some sort of positive charge in the atom, as it had no overall charge. The negatively charged electrons are embedded inside the ball. So the electrons are arranged inside like plums in a plum pudding, and they're evenly spread out. You don't need to know the full details of this model for your exams, but you should be aware of how it influenced later experiments looking into the atom. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.